Hello everyone. Uh, we're here uh, live at our Sprout Fast Surgery in my Long Island office, in our Long Island office. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, you have uh, Louisa, our uh, amazing uh, master esthetician who has been with us for a decade now. Uh, we're coming out of this uh, corona thing, hopefully with some good uh, skincare tips while everybody's quarantined, be able to uh, manage your skincare concerns and be able to do uh, best while we're inside and she'll uh, share all that with you. I'm keeping my six foot distance and I hope everybody else tries to do that as well. And uh, hopefully all, all are well and you're doing well enough and uh, nobody in the family is sick to be able to take care of this uh, skincare in this tough times and we'll be back in the office before everybody knows it. So listen to Louisa. All right, Louisa, take it away. Hi, everybody. I'm Louisa. I've been with Dr. Charney for 10 years. And, um, oops, here we go. Um, so I started working as an esthetician uh, from when I was 18 years old. That was back in the 80s, I feel old. But um, so I've owned my own business and I've worked with many doctors. And now I've been with Dr. Charney for 10 years. I'm also a, a do phlebotomy and a medical assistant as well. So now I'm the med spa director here at Aristocrat Plastic Surgery. Okay, so healthy skin is all about a routine and it doesn't have to be difficult. It has to be simple and easy to do um, so, that, so that it won't be a chore to do. Um, besides putting product on your face, it's all about being healthy yourself. If you're healthy, your skin will be healthy. So my typical day, um, I wake up in the morning and I wash my face uh, with our cleanser. I'll show you. <laughs> um, and then I use an antioxidant or some kind of serum. I apply a moisturizer sometimes and, um, and an SPF on top of that. Um, and then I just put a little bit of makeup on, and that's really it. And my makeup really just consists of a, uh, a mineral powder. I just blot it on real quick, and that's it. At nighttime, I just wash my face with my cleanser and apply a retinol, uh, which we'll get into retinols and eye creams and whatnot later on. And then two or three times a week, I do a little bit more of a heavier exfoliation. You don't want to overdo it, um, but you do want to exfoliate. So we're going to talk about some of the best foods for healthy skin. And uh, you'll notice that a lot of the foods uh, and, the, and the vitamins that are in the foods are, are the same vitamins that we use in our skin care that give us the best um, quality skin care. So the first one is fatty fish. Uh, fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, they all contain omega-3s, um, fatty acids. Um, they're a good source of protein. Bro pro protein is actually really good for your skin. Vitamin E, zinc, uh, which can reduce inflammation and help keep your skin moisturized. Um, it also protects our skin from free radical damage and helps with the production of new skin cells. Avocados. Avocados are actually really good for you. They're high in beneficial fats. Uh, they contain vitamin E and vitamin C, which are important for a healthy skin. They also pack compounds that'll protect your skin from sun damage. Nuts, nuts. I do a lot of nuts in my protein shakes in the morning. It's easy just to incorporate and um, they have, it's a good source of essential fats, zinc, vitamin E, sel selenium, sorry, <laughs> and protein and all of which you is what your body needs to stay healthy. Sunflower seeds. I actually like sunflower seeds. Um, so it has a lot of good nutrients in there, including vitamin E, and um, which is an important antioxidant for the skin. Sweet potatoes is another good one because it has beta carotene. Beta carotene. Um, acts as a natural sunblock for the skin and it helps protect you from sun damage. Yellow and bell peppers. So it's all the colors of the rainbows which you're eating. Um, the bell peppers 
who have a lot of beta, beta carotene and vitamin C, which are important antioxidants for your skin. Vitamin C also is necessary to help create collagen, which is what we lose as we get older. As we get older, we don't produce collagen anymore. So it's always good to incorporate foods that help to create it. Broccoli is also a very good one. Um, it's a good source of vitamins and minerals and um, carotenoids, which is important for skin health. It also has a, an enzyme called sulforaphane, which I know I pronounced it wrong, but <laughs> um, it helps uh, prevent skin cancer and it protects, protects you from getting sunburned. One of my favorites is tomatoes, and I grow these every year, and I can them, and I have them all, all throughout the year. And it's a good, good source of vitamin C and carotenoids, especially lycopenes. Uh, these car carotenoids protect your skin from sun damage, and also helps with wrinkles. Soy, soy is a good one. It has isoflowins, uh, which have been shown to improve wrinkles, increase collagen, and skin elasticity. Uh, also helps with dryness as well as protect your skin from UV damage. If you look at a lot of Asian women, they eat a lot of soy, their skin always looks so good. That's why. Dark chocolate, he's a good one, which I know a lot of you will like. Dark chocolate contains antioxidants that protect your skin against sunburn. Uh, these antioxidants also help they improve wrinkles and it and it also helps make your skin thicker. So when you hold on to your skin and it snaps back quickly, that's a good sign. Um, it helps with high, high hydration and blood flow and skin texture. I see you picking your skin. <laughs> um, there was a study that found that eating 20 grams of high antioxidants dark chocolate a day allows your skin to withstand twice as much UV radiation before burning uh, compared with a low antioxidant chocolate. So the next one is green tea is another one. It's uh, very high in antioxidants, helps to reduce redness um, and improves hydration, thickness and elasticity. Um, and elasticity is what we need for our skin to and have helped to prevent that skin from falling as we age. Red grapes. So there's a, an ingredient called resveratrol, which is a famous antioxidant and found in red grapes. And it slows your skin's aging uh, by impairing the harmful free radicals that damage your skin. So it helps prevent free radical damage to your skin. So that's why I always drink a glass of wine at night, red wine. <laughs> so here are foods to avoid. And the reason why you should avoid these foods, fast foods, dairy products, high alcohol, sugar, they all, um, they, they, they are all bad for your skin because it degrades the free radical damage. It actually causes free radical damage in the skin, which ends up aging you, especially sugar. So healthy skin habits, um, you washing your face. The most important is to wash your face at nighttime. Taking off your makeup um, at nighttime is really important. I see a lot of teenagers that go to bed without washing their face and they got a face full of makeup on. Then they have acne and bumps and the skin texture is all bumpy. Um, it's really important to wash your face at night because um, you're sleeping, your face is in that pillow the next day, you're forcing that oil back in your skin. Um, so washing your face is very important. Healthy diet, we talked about. Going outside, vitamin D is very important for us. It helps, it helps with our overall uh, brightening and, and with our overall just making us happy just to be outside. I know when I look out the window, oh, it makes me feel so much better. Um, using a sunscreen is very important because it helps prevent sunburn and sun damage. Staying hydrated is also another good, is another one. Um, hydrate, hydration, it actually helps. Being hydrated and being moisturized are, are two different. You can be moisturized and oily and without being hydrated. So staying hydrated, your, your body has to flush out 
all those bad toxins out of your skin. So if you're drinking a lot of water, that really helps. Getting plenty of sleep. I know when I'm not sleeping well, you know, your eyes get puffy, your, your, um, your, your body is not functioning as well as when, as when you've got a full night's rest. Managing your stress is really, really a tough one. Um, stress really, really takes a toll on your skin. I've seen people who've taken care of um, their family and, you know, the, it, it just it drains them physically. You can see it in their eyes, the skin tonic turns gray. So you try and manage your stress by taking a walk or, or taking some breaths throughout the day and, and help to manage it in your own head. Um, the next one is doing a skin check every year. People, people, um, once, once they see something on their face and they see that it's not changing, you're better off going to a derm just to get it checked out, just to make sure that it's okay. We're going to go over that later on in the presentation about the skin check. And the last one I would say is do a makeup detox. It's not great to put on makeup every single day. Um, it clogs your pores doesn't give your chance, your skin a chance to purge out all those toxins that are in from the makeup. Um, and doing, just a doing, a I do a makeup detox twice a week, uh, Saturday, when I'm home, I, I don't put any makeup on. And things to quit. Number one would be smoking. Smoking does such horrible things to your skin. So it depletes the oxygen in your skin and your skin ends up looking gray or yellow. I see people with the, around their lips, they have like the yellowness and um, it really takes a toll on your skin because your body is not absorbing that oxygen that it needs because of the smoking. Popping of pimples is another one. I see people picking their face and picking their face. They see something, they just can't leave it alone. So you're picking, you're picking and then you're gonna end up with a, a hole or a scar. Just leave it alone, it'll go away. It'll go away, just leave it alone. Um, another thing is product hopping. People sometimes they have like 12 cleansers, 12 serums. They're gonna try this one today, this one another day. Your skin is not gonna get used to that, that product and it actually can, can go into an overload. So you can get a rash, you can break out. Um, you're, you're not gonna get the benefit of, of using that product and using it to its full capacity. Um, next one is uh, not cleaning your makeup brushes. Makeup brushes have so much filth on them and it, it oil gets stuck in there. And by constantly using those same makeup brushes without washing them, you're just putting it back onto your face. I've seen, I've seen, I was a makeup artist for a long time. So I've seen people putting on makeup with this brush. It's not even a brush anymore, it's just flat. And they're trying to like put this thing on and it's so filthy and they're just forcing that oil right back into your skin. That is like gross. You gotta stop doing that people, <laughs> just stop. Um, and the next thing and the last thing was stop ignoring your neck and your chest. Your, your, some people, they, they're always putting on everything on their face for anti-wrinkle, they put in their serums, they're great with their retinase, but then they stop with their neck and, and their decollete. And what happens is that their face looks so good and then all of a sudden you get this creepiness that's on your chest and it looks like, ooh, you could tell when someone had stopped putting their product down below. So your daily skincare routine, as I said earlier, really should just be quick, simple, and easy for you to do. We don't want you spending 20 minutes in the bathroom. You can spend 20 minutes doing other things, but it should only take three minutes to do your routine. Um, you wash your face, towel dry, you put your serums on, you put your eye cream on and the moisturizer, and putting on a, um, an SPF. A lot of times, regular, your foundation already has SPF also. So you're getting that full coverage. That's the most important thing. So we're gonna talk about some things that we could do at home. Um, being that we can't go to the offices now, we can't get our treatments. Uh, as you can see, I need a manicure and my eyebrows done, but 
<laughs> I can do a mini peel on myself. So a mini peel is um, just a deeper scrub or, or uh, just a peel in, in the office. Sometimes we'll do a chemical peel, but you can't do that now. So I would, I'll go over the, how you do. So you wash your face like with your normal cleanser, towel drying. And then we have this um, deep cleansing scrub and it has some lactic acid in there. And it's like a polishing scrub. And if you leave it on for three or four minutes, it actually helps to lighten some of that pigmentation. It works very well. Um, you rinse that off and then you can put on like a brightening serum, which is our new new product. It's a new, um, um, it's a retinol, five times five strength retinol. You just put that on and you go to sleep. And that would be a great thing to do once, twice a week, um just to help just to help keep your skin looking fresh looking good looking like 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 a glow okay uh and another thing you could do at home is masks masks i love masks we have one it's a gold mask and we throw on our face and um it has some minerals in here and it hydrates your skin and it helps just gives you a nice boost of, of hydration um Neutrogena also has one which I like also. It's called a Hydro Boost. Hydro Booster. It's a sheet mask, which is what you'll see in that picture. Okay, so now we're going to go over some um, skin concerns uh, like acne and pigmentation and wrinkles. So, which are your concerns? So we're going to start with the acne uh, first, then we'll go into fine lines and prevention. Prevention is also the, just the key. Now, here are some ingredients to help control acne. Um, and if you're looking at these ingredients, we have salicylic acid, glycolic acid, benzoyl peroxide, and sulfur. And all these ingredients come in a varying degree of strengths. So, what we do in the office could be a lot stronger than what you're using at home. Um, we have, I'm very proud of our line. We have a really good compounding pharmacies. We work with a few different compounding pharmacies that actually make the products for us the way we want it. So we put in the, the strength that we want for, for our practice. So the first one is salicylic acid. It helps to remove the outer layer of skin. Uh, and it's, if you look at a lot of acne products, it's the key ingredient for that. It also helps with uh, seborrheic dermatitis, acne, psoriasis, and really like full strength. It helps with calluses and corns and keratosis pilaris, which a lot of people get. And so those bumps that are on the backs of the arms, um, which is like annoying, which just bumps. Um, the next one is glycolic acid. So glycolic acid penetrates um, the skin and it helps to weaken the, the binding properties. And all that means is that there's this intercellular glue that holds our skin together. If you think of our skin as um, fish, like, cell, like um, scales on a fish. So these intercellular glue holds these, these scales together. So what the glycolic does, it actually helps to break that down. So the, so the skin kind of just helps to shed. Um, and it helps uh, just to exfoliate the skin and expose healthy new skin cells. The next one is benzoyl peroxide. Uh, it's used to treat mild and moderate acne. It helps to kill bacteria. Um, so if you see people who have re that red base face with, with the acne pustules, that's actually a good product for that. And the last one, uh, which is there are other ones, but these are the, the top ones that we like to use is sulfur. And sulfur is 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 um used to kill bacteria, fungi, mites, and parasites. And yes, mites and parasites can live on the face. So we have to kind of get that bacteria back to where where it should be so that your body can fight off these mites and parasites that can live on the face. So some of the products that we have for, um, for acne, I'm gonna show you salicylic treatment lotion. And these salicylic treatment lotion, 
um, has these little micro sponges that help absorb oil throughout the day. It's a great product to use. You can use it once or twice a day. Um, and when we do a consult, we'll be able to give you a better idea of how to use it. The next one is micro exfoliating pads. Now this is a strong product. So you would only use it once or twice a week. And this is perfect for face and the body. It helps with back knee, it helps with keratosis pilaris. It works very well once or twice a week. And some people have to rinse it off, but most of the time you just leave it on and you put it on before you go to bed. The next one would be something like a triple threat pad, which we use a lot. Of. This is one of our best sellers. It's not for everybody, but it works very well. It, it helps to exfoliate the skin, helps with the oil. And it also, when you exfoliate, other products that you put on your face absorbs better into the skin. The next one would be Zip Fix. This is the sulfur one. Um, so you have a little breakout, but most of your face is fine. You just take this and you just dab it onto, onto your pimple. And it dries it up very quickly. We have another one here. It's for people who have acne on the back. And so there's a spray in here. And, a, and this is an awesome antibacterial washcloth. And it opens up so you can get your back nicely. Um, and there's a wash. And then there's this, there's this toner that you can actually spray upside down, which is hard. A lot of products that have spray, you can't spray it upside down. But this one, you can. Okay, and then the last one is our signature cream, which is a customized cream. So anytime somebody comes in, we do a consult. I actually specifically mix up uh, that cream for for that patient. Um, so we can always do a, a virtual uh, or a FaceTime consult to determine which you may need. And it's not every one of these items. It's maybe one or two of these items, sometimes three. And we have to probably change it as your skin gets better. So now we'll talk about some ingredients to help fight wrinkles and fine lines. So you'll see um, fighting wrinkles and aging, all of the ingredients that we talked about earlier with our food are in a lot of these antioxidants that, that we're going to talk about for our topical product. So antioxidants such as resveratrol, vitamin C, vitamin E, ferulic acid, they have all been shown to protect us against UV damage and, um, and it helps to proliferate cell rejuvenation. Uh, it's really a gold mine of anti-aging anti effects, um, including protecting the skin from harmful enzyme and it helps improve the function of fibroblasts. Now these fibroblasts are what makes collagen and elastin in our skin. Um, and it helps to repair damaged skin cells. Now, ferulic acid works to help boost uh, the effects of all the other antioxidants. Which we have a product here, APS c &E with ferulic, which, which is one of our also top sellers. Um, ferulic acid in Japan actually is used as a sunscreen. Not here, because it's not FDA approved for that, but I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> um, and the next thing, next thing uh, to fight wrinkles is using a retinol or a retin-A. So now the difference between a retinol and a retin-A uh, is a delivery system. So a retin-A that you can get uh, uh, from as a prescription, which you can get from us too, uh, the delivery system is a little water molecule so as you're putting it on, it's like very irritating very quickly. And a lot of people can't tolerate it. They get red, they get itchy, um, they start peeling. Uh, sometimes they get some swelling. Um, so you have to titrate up. So you start with a low dose and you let your body get acclimated to it. And then you kind of transition onto a higher dose as your skin gets used to it. A retinoid is, uh, is a retin-A, but the delivery system is a little oil molecule. So it's formulated inside of the product. And as you're putting it on, it goes into the epidermis and it doesn't change until a retin-A until after it's in the skin. So it's better tolerated for most people and tolerated much better. Um, 
So besides the fact that it's, it's an anti-aging compound, it also helps with acne as well for certain acne. Uh, increases blood flow to the skin, helps even out the um, your skin tone, and it increases cellular turnover, which is what you want. Because as we age, our skin doesn't turn over as it used to. When we were 12, our skin used to turn over in 12 days. That's why, that's when we say, oh, look, look, at, that, look at that baby face. They're always glowing and, and, and shiny. Uh, and as you get older, that cell turnover doesn't happen as often or as or as readily. So it takes longer for the cell turnover to happen. 50 days, 60 days, sometimes 70 days. Um, by using the retinol, it helps to uh, increase that cellular turnover. Okay? So I'm going to show you some of the products that we have for um, wrinkles and fine lines. So the first one here is, which I showed you already, which is our skin. It's a really simple. You take it, it drops right onto the face and rub it in. And um, it's easy to use. It goes out quick. The next one is an ultra serum or complex. And it's these little, little, tiny, little pills that we don't take internally. We break it open and we put it on the back of our hand. And we kind of just dot it on our face and our neck and rub it all in. Or the next day you can dot it all over the face and put it on the backs of your hands because our hands need some love and chew people, especially with all this hand washing that we're doing. Um, now, the next one is, um, which I forgot over there, it's, it's our advanced brightening complex. So that's a perfect product for, to use during the summertime when uh, you have some pigmentation, it's hydroquinone free, uh, it's red day free. So you can use daily <laughs> um, It's retinol free and because you can't use retinol This is the perfect, it has enzymes and lighting and um, and uh, here are some of them. Um, and then APS are pads. It's also another customized product that we mix specifically for the patient. So we have different strengths, red names, and different strengths of um, hydroquinone. And once we do the consult, uh, we can determine what you need. Okay. Uh, the next one would be our renewal cream. This is a nice renewal cream, and it's it's uh, equivalent to a one percent. Retin, retin A, um, once, once it's in your skin. And most people tolerate it very well, no itching, no burning, um, no peeling. Some people peel a little bit, but most of the time it's, it's over within a week or two, okay? Uh, and then the same thing with the anti-wrinkle capsules. The anti-wrinkle capsules is the same, similar to the vitamin C, but instead of being blue, like a beige. And this one has the res resveratrol uh, in it. So let me show you how to okay. mute others. So yeah, I'm about to pass this. Hold on, move up. I went wild at Carter's. Carter's. Mute yourself for a second. Hold on. I'm not going to say anything. So I have Dr. Charney here trying to fix my, my uh, the mute here situation. So uh, the next one is the signature cream again. We talked about the signature cream with the acne, but as I said earlier, the, the, the signature cream is a customized cream. So we mix it specifically for you. Um, 
you can't get it over the counter. It's just, it's a special product just for you. And then uh, another one that we have is a glow cream, which has a little bit of TCA, which is a tetrachloric acid. And that's a little bit more of an advanced cream that, that's gonna make you peel a little bit more. But that's really more for texture. Anytime you see TCA in a product, it's for texture. So if you have some roughness, bumpiness, um, TCA is a good item for you to use. Okay, so now prevention is the key. We talked about prevention earlier by using some antioxidants, eating antioxidants, uh, using skincare, uh, and, and, and our, what our biggest thing is that we have, we have to prevent the sun damage so we don't get the lines and the wrinkles. Um, so, um, per, using an SPF on a daily basis is very important for prevention. And what the benefits of using an SPF, it actually helps to, shields us from a UV rays. It helps pre prevent premature aging. It lowers skin cancer risk, lowers blotchiness on the face. Now, sometimes people get like red blotches on the face or brown blotches on it. It helps to lower the, that effect. It prevents sunburn and tanning. I know a lot of people like to look dark, um, but it's really not that good for you. It'll age your skin very quickly um, and enhances the health of your skin. Good, so we have a few uh, SPFs available uh, for APS. We have our body spray, which you're out of. Um, we actually have it in the Manhattan office, which is just a nice sheer body spray that you can spray all over your body and your face. And then the next one here is a daily defense sunscreen. You need a tiny bit of this and it goes a long way. So I'm gonna put some on here. And if you look at it, this is a lot and this will do